right, so I really need the generator. So let's go outside, take the lawnmower out the garage, tear it up, and make ourselves a generator. Oh, by the way, that will run on wood. So the first step is gonna be tearing this lawnmower down. Now that we have that accomplished, I cut out the bottom plate of this lawnmower to use as a template for the mounting plate that's going to be going on this generator build. Now we got this lawnmower ready to be bolted on, sets through, got enough room for the pulleys and everything underneath it, and let's get ready to get the plate ready to cut out for the alternator that we're going to need to add on here. Now I went and got this alternator, it's a two line alternator that I got at uh, O'Reilly's, so let's go ahead and get this thing going. Now that we have accomplished getting the motor and the alternator holes made and all that set in, we need to make us a tensioner set up for the underneath of this one. This belt's going to go on here to make sure that we can apply the appropriate tension between the alternator and the motor. Now that I know what I need to do, I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole out here, take a grinding wheel, and make a slide so that that wheel will be able to move back and forth a little bit to apply tension. Okay, now we got the pulley on there. I want to make sure that we've got it spaced just right with the spacer so that it's going to line up with the other pulleys um, underneath this situation. Now it's time to make the casing for this.
we've got that all welded up and good to go with just enough space for the pulleys to be able to spin underneath it now it's time to trim it up clean it out and start putting this thing together As I stated at the beginning of this video, I need this to run off of wood. So I am going to build the manifold. So I took off the air box so I can use the inside of this as a template um, to be able to make my manifold that's going to bolt up directly to the carburetor on this. So I'll use the inside of this here to uh, make a template so I can start getting that creation together. Now that we got the intake ready, I use this red RTV gasket maker. It works really good. So I want to make sure I get plenty of this on here to seal that nice and tight up against the carburetor of this lawnmower where it'll hook up uh, to the gasifier to pump the wood gas directly into it. So now that you see all that hooked up, you're kind of getting the idea of, of how this is going to operate. Back to the handy dandy rattle can. Let's get this to match the rest of this build. time to make this generator generate so we've got the motor back there the battery we're going to charge the alternator the belt for the pulley uh, positive and negative cables a uh, tester meter so we can show you what's going on get all this stuff put into the little contraption that we built and let's make some power So we got the belt run around the lawnmower pulley on the bottom of that shaft, around the alternator, and around the tension pulley we put on there that we made to stretch tension into it, get this nice and tight. All right, let's move on from here. All right, so I'm sure if you noticed uh, what's going on right here. So 
that's a uh, intake valve or I'm not an intake valve but uh, intake uh, for the manifold straight into the carburetor that I've uh, made and put onto this engine because this generator that I'm building here is going to actually run off of wood which is going to be coming from the wood gas from the gas fire that I built so that's what's going on there with that pipe sticking out anyway just thought maybe you might have some questions about that So now the generator is built and remember this intake, this manifold that I, I made to go on here is because this whole contraption is going to end up running off of my gasifier, so off of wood gas. So here's the homemade generator set up that will be running off of wood gas, a pulley system underneath it, which will be going to a battery bank. I just got a single battery sitting there right now, but I'll be building an entire battery bank. Uh, on this this system with the gasifier and the wood processor and all the other components that's going on here and This is where it's piped into the gasifier off the manifold I made for this uh, lawnmower engine and This is the intake for the air to control the air to fuel ratio going in this so let's uh, Pull it out here in the snow and see if we can't fire this up real quick. All right, so as you know, I've got this fan plugged in to some outside source of energy. I've been questioned about that, like, well, if it's off grid, well, if you gotta be able to plug something in, how's that gonna work? Because this is only part of the build. Um, the generator I just built, I'm getting ready to show you, is gonna be going to a battery bank that I'm building on this, so it'll be self-sufficient. There'll be no need for outside power when we get that done. But until then, let's fire this up. So we're gonna crank this fan all the way up. Make sure this air valve up here is off, so it's creating a vacuum inside. I've opened up my intake port. Put my paper in there, we're gonna fire this up. So you see that suck right on in there. All right, that fuel's about lit already. We're gonna go ahead and close that off. Deprive that of its oxygen. Come back up top here. Open this valve up, let some air in. We're gonna open it up all the way for now. So what's going on right now, what's going on right now is this reactor's heating up, sucking air through, already getting smoke out of here. So we'll give this about five minutes to get up to temperature. And then we'll go ahead and uh, fire this up. Once we got this torch burning a nice clean flame, staying on steady, we'll come over here. I'll cut the valve off here that's piping that fuel up to the torch. I'll turn on the valve here that's gonna pipe that fuel into this motor, into that intake manifold that I made for this motor. And this valve here is to control the air to fuel ratio so I can adjust how much air goes in there. In turn, this motor, We'll turn this alternator, which will charge the battery set up. So that's the general idea. It's got the pulleys underneath. But we'll let this warm up, and uh, when it's all warmed up, we'll go from there. All right, now we've got this thing up to temp. Smoking good. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, but we're going to go ahead and uh, fire up this contraption. So I'm going to cut this line off so I'm not pumping gas out the torch. Cut this line on, pump that gas straight into the motor here. Turn this on a little bit, get a little bit of airflow. We'll mix that air to fuel ratio uh, as needed.
All right, so she wasn't performing as well as she usually does. So I had to do some investigating. What I found was it had uh, got some moisture inside of the tank, um, probably because it was hot yesterday and snow today. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna take all that out and uh, put all fresh wood pellets and stuff in there and that ought to solve that issue. Just wanted to update you. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe, like, hit the bell for notifications and share. Thank you.